you do Saturday night? Well, number two and a friend of hers went out to dinner, had a few drinks. They called their Uber, meaning me and her mother. We went and picked them up. Of course, they bought dinner. That was all good. Get back. They went for a walk out here. There was two or three calves out there. Yeah, they got pushed through the fence or whatever. Guess it was the youngest ones. That's the last one. Yeah, little bitty thing. They're trying to get it to run up and go find mama. So, a view you don't get from me very often. It's finally, well, actually it's comfortable down here. It's worse up above. There's a nice breeze down here and it feels pretty good actually. But, yeah. Hey, and I didn't mention it in today's video, and you'll see this tomorrow night. Tomorrow's be Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all you. I mean, fathers, yeah. Yeah, happy Father's Day to all you fathers. Well, I see a couple are still out. Most of them are coming in. Look like they actually have eaten the lane down out there pretty good from here. Because. Ain't near as much grass in that lane as there was. I was hoping they'd actually eat it down rather than just trample it. It looks like it's more eaten down from here. And calf up there about the middle of the screen. And I'm assuming that's another calf laying down. Need to ride out and check this morning. Coyotes were a little boisterous last night, but they weren't close, which kind of surprised me because the night before, they were close, and, uh, well, there was coyote, coyote crap out there when I cut that, and so, anyway, oh. Like I said, the coyotes were kind of, I mean, they weren't that close, but when you can hear them, you kind of listen to them and try to figure out where they're at. So you don't get to sleep. But I'm still up. What the hell? So, hey, <laughs> I said it already. So you'll hear it again. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Don't let them change. Try to change the name of it. Kind of like Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, didn't it? Leave it alone. And then, I don't know, this new thing. Juneteenth or whatever. Becky was busy asking me about that last night. It's like, I don't know, but apparently our governor signed in that it's a holiday. I don't think our governor has a clue what it is because she don't know what anything is anyway. She wouldn't know a dog's ass if it was staring back at her in the mirror. And guess what? It does that every day and she still don't know it. Birds are going crazy right there this morning. Okay, good. That's enough. I get something done. I can't just stand here and gab at y'all all day long. Although I could, but yeah, we need to do a live stream sometime, but it wouldn't last all day anyway. Mm, don't know who that is, but from here, that's a good looking heifer calf. Time to put the turbine back on. The rings Tom made are inside the end of that fitting. Seal on the other half. Number one just went back in the shop to grab the bolts. And unfortunately, we're rigged backwards, so it's hanging wrong. But nice thing about a strap, it's not too hard to spin them. That's a bigger tractor in front of that. Would really be nice. She wanted me to look at the bird. Still there was on the nest. Hey, I never touched the throttle. And I'm not sure why she pulled in so close right there. Usually kind of swing to go through a gate. But, you know. 
Well, hopefully we can pump some water. I'm gonna guess by the end of the day we'll probably have this running backwards. And yeah, I'm gonna park this thing right here. I'm not going that way with it. That hill's too much. We gotta get the pump in first anyway. If I pull this out of the way far enough, the bike can get around it. Because, well, flush lines before we take this up. That's always the fun part. Of course, we still got to go get the suction line and all the related stuff that goes along with it. Just more fun. We're not done yet. Both pumps are primed. Well, the big one should be primed. It might have lost it because I forgot to shut a valve off on the primer side. But our issue is, yeah, nutrient muskrat cause a lot of damage. That adds zero drops to the water. That used to be the top of the bank. Power pole used to be where I'm standing, and it's over there. That steel piece sticking up, that's where it used to be shut off for an underground that went up to do the garden and water the horses and the horse pasture years ago. That's what the little pump baby one there was originally for. Uh, many years later, these two fence posts were shoved in, and there was a fence post across between them, and the pump backed up against it. Well, like I say, them rodents that chew on stuff, even the bank over there, that was all way out. We used to actually have a low spot, just the edge of the water there, and we jumped over onto the old stump on that side. We crossed that all the time. It was just one good long step, realistically. And yes, once in a while, somebody would get a little damp. That's how we used to turn the pump on and off when we had hand lines. No bikes, you know, you walked out and all the hand lines are on the other side of the creek. Nothing on this side, so you put the pump. So, anyway, suction's in. Tin's in to catch all the dribbles. I'm just waiting for a board to screw in. We ended up putting this in last year. Because otherwise, that pipe will bow down here about three feet. We did that last year when we first took this new pump in. It bowed down about three feet, and there's a couple are just this side of the tree. When it bowed down, it popped the latch. And Incidentally, it's not fun stringing line across here. Well, last year, well, it didn't used to be too bad because you could actually stand on the bank and get the end of it. But bank to bank now is longer than the pipe. And what, these are, I think these are 30 footers. And keep in mind where the end of that is, is in the tree, realistically about four feet this side of the edge of the water. So. Anyway, she's back with a board and hopefully a couple of screws that'll go through it and a screw gun. And yeah, let's see if we can make some water flow in a little bit. At least get the lines flushed. Those wonderful days when it's already too freaking hot. Everybody's in a precious mood. And somehow one of the risers disappeared. And I just got my ass chewed because it was found in the Traveler with the hose to the Traveler, which I already suggested that someone look there since they said it wasn't up on the main line. Yeah, well, after I suggested someone look there, I get my ass chewed because that's where it was. Gotta love it. In the meantime, it's been pump on, pump off, pump on, pump off, pump on, pump off. And it's way too late and too hot for this crap. So, we won't be getting any water flying today. Because, quite honestly, by the time the main line's flushed, I'm going to be done. Well, dang it, I was going to show you a nice big crawdaddy was climbing up onto that ledge. And then my phone rang. And he disappeared. Actually, a pretty good sized one. I haven't, it's the first one I've seen today. We had some early in the year, but haven't seen anything for a while. 
and actually I can just barely see one. I don't know if you can see him in the screen or not. He's kind of coming up. Yeah, can't see him that way. Now he's backing out. Oh, there's two of them. If they were in a little closer, to get them on screen. But they're having a little fight. They do that once in a while. Okay, there's like three of them. They're right underneath the shadow in the center of the screen. I don't know if you can see them moving around or not. One's up underneath the grass over here now. One's hiding behind the shadow. Well, I got cut off with a phone call earlier. That was number two, Tommy. Shut the pump off or turn it on, whichever it was. I don't know. Hopefully you got to be able to see the crawdads playing in the creek. Uh, we got done, so that group's back out. And they went straight up there by those trees to the shade. And they just came out of the shade. The other group was hiding in the shade earlier for the most part. Yeah, mom's got a mole. So I could come in a couple days ago. Anyway. Oh, at 98 degrees and 40% humidity. Yeah, it was a fun day. Not Travelers not out there because there was pretty much no way that any of us were going to physically be able to get things done. We got the lines all flushed, so tomorrow I'll go out and put it there on the end and get it going, I hope. Hopefully it don't leak like a sieve like it did last year. And I think I'm going to pick up some brush back there where I clipped that pasture the other day. A couple spots there that need to get cleaned up. And there's still big chucks in the bottom that we never got picked up yet. <laughs> Becky took the, the bigger trailer behind the four-wheeler and she was picking the stuff up down there this morning, or today, this afternoon, whatever. So, and it's too freaking hot. Hopefully you uh, all enjoyed your Father's Day. So, I know I said it at the beginning of the video. I'll say it again. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Hopefully uh, we all have a good week and we don't burn up too much tomorrow because they're talking 100 degrees next couple of days. Then we'll cool down to maybe 85 in the middle of the week and back up to 100 degrees next weekend. If the humidity goes down, it'd be great hay-drying weather.